All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure takes me on a fairly new trail. Well, a really new trail here in the Adirondacks, just outside of Long Lake. I'm going up Buck Mountain. This trail just opened up less than a month ago, so let's go check it out. Hi folks, welcome back. I am on the trail to Buck, Pond, uh, Buck Mountain Fire Tower and this trail just opened up in September, right around September 14th I think it was. Um, it's located off in Route 30 on Sab Sabbats Road, which is between Long Lake and Tupper Lake. Um, for the last two summers, volunteers from Long Lake, uh, the ADK Mountain Club, and along with builders from Hamilton County, I think, the Hamilton County Soil and Water Team, uh, they developed this trail. Um, the markers are right up here. They are the Long Lake markers, the light blue ones. And yeah, the trail is not quite all worn in yet, but you can follow it pretty easily. Um, but uh, this was an agreement with the uh, Cedar Heights Timber Company who owns this property. Um, they uh, allowed this trail to be built through here. Um, it's about two and a half miles in and out trail up Buck Mountain. And the, uh, there's a fire tower on the summit. And that fire tower has a unique history. So as I have mentioned before in my videos, the forest fires of the early 1900s totally devastated much of the Adirondacks. And during the 1903 forest fire here in Long Lake, this area, Sabatis, was totally destroyed by fire. The fire loss to private landowners was very costly. So like the state who started putting fire towers up, manned fire towers, um, Many landowners built their own towers to protect their own lands. So Buck Mountain Fire Tower was privately constructed and operated and has never been open to the public until now. And because a lot of these trails in Adirondacks do cross private property, and right over my shoulder you'll see there's a posted sign that says uh, Buck Mountain Fish and Game Club. But the owner of the land is uh, a timber company and they are now in an easement agreement with the state to allow this trail up and the public up to the fire tower for the first time ever.
that's the fire tower behind me here on Buck Mountain. And you know, it was not unheard of to have private landowners here in the Adirondacks have their own fire towers. Um, there were seven known privately owned and operated fire towers here in the Adirondacks. Uh, by the 1920s, both private and state run Adirondack fire towers had been established because the memories of those devastating fires that took place in the early 1900s stayed with these lumbering communities here in Adirondacks for years. So the original tower, the construction materials were hauled up this mountain by a sled dog team. And now the 60 foot metal structure, if you get to the top, you have views of Little Tupper and Round Lake and the Whitney Wilderness. It's pretty good views up there. So Buck Mountain Fire Tower was previously owned by the Whitney Park, but is now owned by the Cedar Heights Timber Company and until now has never been open to the public. And so this is a great new trail. You will need hiking boots, no flip-flops and sandals, and please stay on the trail because it is private property going on each side. And uh, yeah, this is a great private-public partnership here. And I hope people take advantage of it, but please respect it. So I'm going to get my lunch into me and take in some views, and then hike back down and find my next adventure. Alright folks, you watched all the way through. Thanks for that. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button down below continue to follow the adventure and remember to folks tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us so disconnect from that wi-fi connect to this out here you won't be disappointed